Okay, in this video, we're going to take you through how to create a solid model of the keychain that can be 3D printed as a beginning project for understanding the workflow from inventor to uh, a 3D printed object. So as I turn this object around, you can see that this is a solid model of a very simple keychain. What we're going to do is to create this, we're going to go ahead and start a new part file. So file, new, and then we're going to make sure it's selected. Uh, we're going to work from English or inches. Um, we'll end up going through a conversion to millimeters when we get to uh, repeat your host, uh, but we'll take care of that and show you that process. So standard IPT, uh, create. From this point, we're going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch, and we'll place a 2D sketch on a work plane. At this point, let's start working with text. So we'll go up to our text tool, and we'll select our text tool. Uh, we'll click anywhere in our sketch. At this point, we're not going to be constraining much uh, to the sketch because it is just going to be an object to be printed. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set our text type. Text type for this project, 0.5 seems to be a, uh, a good size to work through your, your printing. Uh, make sure the letters work uh, for printing. And then we're going to go ahead and just type our name. I use all capitals. Uh, it's not necessary, but I just use all capitals to simplify the process. And go ahead and hit OK. Uh, you starting with the text does a few things. One, it gives you a size that you're going to work with for your um, the back piece. So if I turn this back piece, you can see working with the letters is then going to dictate the size of the actual keychain uh, back piece. So from this point, I'm going to then hit finish sketch and take a look at this. And now I'm ready to extrude my text. So I'll go ahead and I'll grab my extrude tool and slide over the text itself. Once I'm over the text and highlighted, I can select it. Uh, the default one inch distance shows up. I'm going to change that to be 0.125 for the height of my text. And I go ahead and hit OK. And now you can see if I just spin my text around, I have some text floating here in space. So I need to pull this together on a back plate that will then also start working with the back plate what I'd recommend doing is turning the text so you're looking at the back side of the text grab a start 2d sketch and select the back of any one of your text uh, letters here from this point you can work from the back side or if you're more comfortable spinning this thing back around to the front it really doesn't matter but you're gonna be building from a sketch that's on the back side so with this set we'll go ahead and you can either use a rectangle uh, you can pull out a, a two-point rectangle quickly if you want to have a rectangle keychain. If you wanted to go ahead and use uh, an ellipse, uh, like I had uh, here, sort of an oval type shape, what we can do is go ahead and grab the ellipse tool. And the ellipse tool, find approximate center, come out uh, to the right or the left to approximately the size of the back plate that you're looking for. Click again, and then as you pull up, you're going to start to develop that ellipse find something that's aesthetically pleasing and then go ahead and click again. Uh, this sets up the uh, outside profile for your extrusion for the back plate. When you have it, go ahead and hit finish sketch and you can go ahead and then extrude that back plate. So one of the important things is just make sure you're extruding in the correct direction. Uh, you might need to flip your direction so you're not extruding through your letters. Make sure you're extruding in the correct direction and 0.125 will be the distance and hit OK. Okay, the last piece that we're going to work on is adding a hole that would then accept uh, a keychain um, keeper here, and that could be many different things. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab the hole tool, and from this point, we're going to make sure we're set with a simple hole. Uh, from this point, come down, the diameter we're looking at is 0.125, and we're looking at through the, all of the material in our dialog box. From this point, we're going to move over top of the back plate and then just select where I want the hole to uh, be placed. The thing that I would uh, say to be most uh, careful of at this point is to make sure that you have enough material uh, between the outside edge and where the hole is placed. Not enough material, if it's very thin, uh, it's gonna cause this to break out if you actually do put a keychain on this. Um, and too far in, obviously, it's gonna be uh, not enough room for your keychain keeper. So with that set up, we'll hit okay, and now we have a hole. So at this point, uh, we're ready to go ahead and save the project here. So I'll just do file, I'll do save as, and I'm just going to take and put this thing on my desktop. You should take and put this on your TechEd server. 
and I'm just going to name this the name uh, on the keychain, which is going to be easy to find uh, at a later date. From this point, we're going to go ahead and take this from inventor into uh, v or into uh, repeat your host or to the MakerBot, and we need to export this as an STL. So from this point, we go to the Environment tab at the top of the screen, and we click on 3D Print. That is the object at the bottom here that is going to be exported as an STL. And we'll go ahead and hit STL, and it is now going to be exported out as an STL. Again, save this to your TechEd server space. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on my desktop so I have it uh, quickly accessible. And then I can exit the 3D Print environment. We're now ready to go ahead and open up the repeat of your host and start bringing this into a 3D printing environment, scaling, slicing, and getting ready to print, which is set up in a